That's just Mr. Heaton going up there. This first team right here is a team of Belgians with uh, Doug Smith driving his brother, Tom, Bill, George. It isn't Paul, no. <laughs> Diane, his wife. This is our uh, Carlson Belgians horse bull wagon. Four o'clock Monday afternoon will be the horse bull. This is Brett Miles. Katie is driving. Katie Miles, she's a Sweet 16 contestant. She's driving a pair of halflingers with an association wagon. Thank you, Katie. Don't, don't go too fast. Don't let them run off again. <laughs> this next team is a pair of crossbreds with Gary Shirk. He's running the plow. You notice how straight that furrow is? Of course, he's not really in the ground, but the shallow plowing version, new style agriculture. This next entry is Tony Garrett with a pair of mules, Belgian mules. He's pulling some weed on a wagon, bundle wagon here. Two o'clock this afternoon, you come out and see it. Might be three by the time we're thrashing. This next team is the most beautiful team here. It's my wife's team. These are spotted drafts, and this is my wife, Teresa Bishop. It's another wagon that we have here at the association. This is a whole bunch of unternears. This is a team of Percheron horses pulling a bundle wagon. And the whole crowd is unternears or in love with an unternear or a child of an unternear or either way, it's the unternear family. This next entry is a team of Percherons owned by Gail and Don Garrett's driving them. Deanna, Gail and Deanna own them. This is a hay tedder. When you go out and mow the hay and it would rain like it has the last couple days, you'd fluff the hay back up so it could dry. This next team is Vicki Moore with granddaughter and behind is son and grandson. This is a team of spotted drafts. These are Belgian and uh, paint crosses. They're from the Columbus Junction area. This is Jonathan Moore. Driving this team of ponies, now look at here. Driving this team of ponies with this little cedar. He's got 80 acres to do yet today. Uh, he might not have shoes left on his feet by the time he's done, but Jonathan, thanks for coming through here. This next team is the Harp family, and they've got a team of halflingers and a little baby on there. We thank you, Tom and family, for coming. This is a team of Morgans here with Ed Miner. Ed's from Muscatine. Some family on there with him. They're a pretty pair. You'll see that pair out on the uh, treadmill later running the thresh machine. This is Larry Robison with a hay mower from here at the association. You'll see this displayed out here in the infield. This is a team of Suffolk punch horses. Larry lives at Pleasant Plain. This is Todd Moore coming through here with a couple of, with one Belgian and a Belgian cross. This is a reaper. This would cut grain and lay it in a row, kind of like a modern day wind roar. So there's Todd Moore and he's from up there in Columbus Junction area. Thanks for coming through. This is another special team that I'm kind of in favor of. This happens to be my team. This is a good friend of mine, Steve Hoover, driving them. We've got an association hay loader here with a bundle wagon. How many in the crowd have ever ridden on that wagon and stacked hay? Hey, there's some hands. Yeah. I haven't done it yet. They said I'm not old enough. This next team is this uh, Troy school bus. We repainted it this year. Dan Wistrom is our area director, and he's got some family members in there with him. He's got a grandson waving at you. His daughter's in there. 
We thank him for bringing them. These are Percheron horses. Dan shoes horses for a living. He's taller than I am. Most horseshoers are short, but he's taller than I am, and he can do it. This next wagon here is a pair of Belgians, and we have Kenny and Judy Penton. Judy's at the lines. They're from down Missouri. Thanks for bringing them through, guys. And the very most important entry in our parade, Joe Miller with a scoop shovel and wheelbarrow. There he is, right there. Give them all a round of applause. Thank you, folks, for putting up with us. And here's the most important part coming right now with his little wheelbarrow. Stay Mr. Right Miller and the cleanup crew. And then when they get done, then the cars can come because they don't like to run through that stuff. That's a mighty fine job there, Joe. Joe Miller from the state of the Missouri the Tigers. Means we don't have anything to talk about. We might as well talk about Joe. He comes up here about a week, week and a half early and helps the horse people set up all their stuff. He stays, thank God, a couple of days late and helps put some of the stuff back. Besides, he gets to do what he's a doing and he does that a lot. But you'll notice he's very good at it. We do have an announcement for Ralph Oliver. Iowa State 14, North Dakota State 7. The Iowa State Cyclones. Got a granddaughter going up there. Joe, Joe said uh, business is picking up. This first tractor here is a 1946 Oliver 60, owned and operated by, owned by Dwight and Anna Copeland of Fairfield, Iowa. Jacob and Kristen are operating it. And this is a tra feature tractor for 2014. The first car through is a 1923 Model T. And this is Marvin Johansson from Mount Pleasant and in Muscatine. We do want to stop the parade here for just a second. We, we got an announcement on this side. I think we're getting a proposal here. <laughs> I said yes. Did she say yes? Congratulations. 
This one here is a 1929 Buick from the Parrish family out of Wayland, Iowa. <laughs> Next tractor is a 1938 Oliver 70, owned by Dwight and Anna Copeland of Fairfield, Iowa. Jason Copeland is the operator, along with Dale and, 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 and Mike. 1927 <laughs> Model T, Curtis uh, Vaprell out of Solon, Iowa. 1958 Oliver 770 Military, right here in front, owned by T Kenny Grimm of Goose Lake, Iowa, and Kenny is the operator. 1925, the T Speedster. This is a race car called Hey Hiram. 1936, I believe, Illinois State Champion. 1942, Oliver 60 Standard, owned by Anna Nepper of Ankeny, Iowa. Anna is the operator. John Crookshank out of Burlington driving a 1930 Model A panel truck. Nineteen fifty three Oliver sixty six owned by Keith Graham and Annetta and Kenny Graham is the operator from Goose Lake, Minnesota. Owen White from Ainsworth, Iowa and a nineteen fifty seven Izetta. It's a BMW. It's an Izetta. 1927 Hart Park 1224, owned by Fred Buckert of Hamilton, Illinois. Jared is the operator. Oh, I'm sorry. Brad Kesey in a 1923 Nash. She's out of Lansing, Michigan. 1948 Oliver 60, owned by Wendell Schellenbarger from Pleasant Hill, Iowa. And Wendell's the operator. Ron Fortune out of Yarmouth, Iowa, in a 1926 Model T. 1960 Oliver 880, owned by the Bookie family of Madrid, Iowa. Charles Bookie is the operator. This is a 31 Model A Ford from Tim and Lisa Auchenfels out of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Front end's barely on the ground. There it is. 1929, Oliver Hart Power, 1224H, owned by Eddie Ward of Bates City, uh, Missouri. And uh, Jacob Putoff is from Kansas City, is the operator. Here's a car that's 103 years old. It's a 1911 International from Gerald Bressetel out of Rock Falls, Illinois. And in the back is Miss Violet from over at the Tavern. 1926 Hart Par 1836, owned and operated by Tony and Shauna Beall of Duran, Iowa. Tony is the operator. Here's a 25 Model T, Ron and Linda Magnuson from Good Hope, Illinois. 1948 Oliver Model 17, owned by Bryce Mitchell from Cedar Rapids, Iowa, and Bryce is the operator. This is the Watkins family out of Yarmouth, Iowa. It's a 1930 Model A. I do have to always take my time because we don't know how many times. But the gentleman riding is 90 years old, 98, and he has never missed an old cavalcade, uh, old Thrasher's parade. Nineteen forty-five Oliver sixty owned and operated by Paul Martin of Marion, Iowa. Bill Brecky family in a 29 Model A with his grandchildren out of California, Virginia. That's close. 1937 Oliver Hart Par 70, owned by Rory and Sharon Bowers from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Rory and Sharon is the opera, just Rory. Don Jones out of Kikuk, Iowa in a 1960, 300 horsepower Ford T-Bird. 1973, Oliver, 1955, owned by Randy Coleman of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Randy's the operator. Dick Sabosky out of Brighton, Iowa, in his 1930 Model A. 1957, Oliver, Super 55, owned by Randy Mullins of Mount Union, Iowa, and Randy is the owner. 
Ron and Laureen Herring, 1929 Model A from Winchester, Kansas. Twenty two Model T Touring, Colin Cambridge of Anita, Iowa. Nineteen fifty five Oliver seven seventy, owned by Walter Mullen of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Larry Shea is the operator. Nineteen thirty one Model A, Mike Miner out of Walcott, Iowa. Nineteen forty one Oliver seventy, owned by Walter Mullins of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. And Nick Jones is the operator. 1949 Ford Custom two door 100 horsepower Gerald Hills out of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Here's a 1950 Oldsmobile 88, Colin Dirks out of Coralville, Iowa. But his grandparents got that car new. 1939 Oliver 70, owned and operated by Rick Mullen of Mount Union, Iowa. This is Charles and Marianne Zigafoos out of Hayesville, Iowa, in a 1918 Ford Model T runabout. 1959 Oliver 60, owned by Bill Newley from Mount Union, Iowa. Randy's the operator. This is Warren Schultz family in a 1941. Packard out of Burlington, Iowa. In 1952, Oliver 77, owned and operated by Walter Mullen of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. One, one point what? 101.17 one. One oh one one radio station. 1951, Oliver 66, owned by Landon Rosenboom from don't have his address. Justin Rosenboom is the operator. Terry and Alice Dahl out of Troy, Missouri in an 1896 replica, just like the first one they ever made. First trip through here for this young man. He's got a 24 Buick, Harold Reveling. He's been through before, but it's the first trip for this car. 1956 Oliver Super 77, owned by Michael Zinzer of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Michael and Jessica are the operators. This is a 1932 Chevrolet, Bob Brennan from Weaver, Iowa. 1952 Oliver 77, owned by Logan Bowling and Sarah Zinner from Solo, Iowa. And George is the operator. Here's this uh, 1937 Hudson Terraplane two-door two from Bill Hudson out of Walcott, Iowa. This one's out of Holland, Michigan. It's a 1930 Model A, Wayne and Marion Terpstra. 1964 Oliver 770, owned and operated by George Zenzer of Solon, Iowa. Harold and Rosemary Jacobs in a 1928 Model A. That's the very first year they were made. 1974, Oliver 1655, owned by Gary Spitznagel, Wapolo, Iowa, and Clayton Jenkins, the Hamilton is the operator. 1951, Chevrolet 3100 from the Llewellyn family out of Kirksville, Missouri. 1962, Oliver 1900, owned and operated by Gary Spitznagel of Wapolo, Iowa, with front wheel assist. This one here is a 1931 Chevrolet, Gary Saibot of Donaldson, Iowa. 1957 Oliver OC4, owned by Gary Spitznagel, Wapolo, Iowa, and Gary is the operator, or uh, Erica. 1964 Oliver 770, owned by Gary Spitznagel, Wapolo, Iowa, Jeremy Buckert is the operator. 1964 International from the Lomax family in Palmyra, Missouri. 1955 Cockshut Model 50, owned by Marvy Moeller from Huffton, Iowa, and Marvy is the operator. 
21 Model T truck from the Heise family. Steve's driving it today out of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Nineteen ten Sears from the Peters family in Olds, Iowa. This is John Hare from New York, Lawton, New York. It's a ninety-eight Massey Ferguson. Nineteen thirty-two Chevrolet two-door from Don Nevins out of Wayland, Iowa. Nineteen sixty-eight Oliver twenty-fifty. Owned by Frederick Hare from Lawton, New York, the state of New York. And Frederick is the operator. 24T out of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. 1931 Model A Rumble Seat out of Tom Phillips out of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. The 1946 Oliver 70 owned by Chris Anderson family of Atlanta, Georgia. Jan and Regan Anderson are the operators. 1917 T Speedster, Blake and Byron Smith out of Minneapolis, Iowa. 1952 Cockshut 40, owned by Ken Perkins, uh, operated by Ken from Bennett, Iowa. Dan Peterson out of Olds, Iowa, in a 1910 brush. That's his grandson there driving. Looks cool. 1917, Jim Shelody out of Nevada, Iowa. It's a, Ma it's a Dodge brother. 1968, Oliver, 1750. Owned and operated by Roger Roth or Washington, Iowa. 1958, Chevy Biscayne. Roger Graber out of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. 1939, Oliver, 70 row crop. Owned by Robert Swansburg from Pro Iowa and Robert is the owner and, and it's got a road grader on it. 1910 10, Stanley Steamer from uh, Bob Gertis family out of Burlington, Iowa. Nineteen fifty six Ford Custom, Martin and Bev Ham out of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. 1928 Hart Par, 1836, owned by Midwest Old Thrashers, operated by Ron Wright of West Burlington, Iowa. Our club president in his 1915 Model T of Dennis Walker out of Burlington, Iowa. It's there's a John Hire, it's a cockshut 50, and he's from the state of New York, New York. 1928 Model A from the Johnson family out of Springville, Iowa. In 1952 Cock Shop Black Hawk 30, owned and operated by Philip Schmitz of Lawton's, New York, with a Cock Shot 311 hay rack. Phyllis and Dwayne Garrell out of Danville, Iowa, in a 1952 Crosley Super Sport. Got another Crosley here. This is a 1952. Mm -hmm. uh, same out of Burlington, Iowa. Yeah. Okay, we'll take 92. That was a 1965 White Oliver 2475, owned and operated by Everett Schilling of Urbanette, Iowa. 1925 Studebaker Special, Shirley and Paul Garl Don't from have a car Burlington, on Iowa. 92. 93. Oh, we know him very well. 1938, Oliver, an 80 row crop, owned by a good friend, Marvin Gipple, from Crawfordsville, Iowa, and Marvin and his lovely wife is at writing. 1916, Russian Long, electric car. This car has 14 batteries. Bob Gertis family out of Burlington, Iowa. We have no card on a little Oliver Row Crop 66. Nice looking tractor. 1949 Oliver 66, owned by uh, Michael Ruber from Winfield, Iowa, and Michael is the operator. 1930 Model A from Brian Olson in Mount Pleasant, Iowa. 
That was a 1950 Oliver 77 owned by Floyd Schaefer, Fairfield, Iowa, driven by Floyd. This is 19, 19, go ahead. 1931 Monolay two-door from Terry and Susan Rue out of Iowa City. 1935 Oliver 70 owned and operated by Mike Jamison of Columbus Junction, Iowa. Nineteen twenty Model T center door from John Daly, Millington, Daly, Illinois. Nineteen sixty-five Oliver sixteen fifty owned by Dana Pelly from uh, Mount Pleasant, Iowa, and Todd Barton is the operator. This is nineteen fifty-one Studebaker from the Graver family in Mount Pleasant and a Sweet Sixteen. 1942 Oliver 60, owned and operated by Gary Cogner of Collins, Iowa. Danny Graber, Mount Pleasant in a 29 Model A. 1967 Firm Oliver, uh, Oliver 1950 T, owned by Bob Kirby from Here's Dubuque, a, Iowa, and Robert is the operator. Here's a nice 30 from Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Model A. 1955 Oliver Super 88, owned and operate, owned by Dan Visor of Pella, Iowa. Here's a 1931 Model A from Silex, Missouri, Francis and Joan no. Reagan. 1952 Oliver 66, owned by Hunter Wells from uh, Eddyville, Iowa, and Hunter is the operator. 1913 Ford Speedster, Jim and Nina Daw from Montrose, Iowa. In 1950, Oliver 77, her own crop, owned and operated by Adam Stockwell of Festus, Missouri. 1927 T Truck, Brett Gwynn, out of Trailer Ridge, Illinois. 1953 Oliver, 88 row crop, owned by Janet Epperson from Frankfurt, Missouri, Janet is the operator. 1946 Willies, Mark and Janet Krull from Mount Pleasant, Iowa. This is a featured garden tractor. It's a 105 Oliver, owned by Kenny Grimm. Hi, Mike. 1963 Mac, G73, Mike Harbertson, Morning Sun, Iowa. 1938 Alice Chalmer Model B, owned by David Matthews from Danville, Iowa. David is the operator. No, Howard, no. Howard Dobbins out of Duran, Iowa, and a 1959 Mac H67. Nineteen forty eight BF Every A owned and operated by Dennis Shank of West Burlington, Iowa with a nineteen forty seven two road case picker sheller. Uh Jim Zimlicka in a nineteen sixty five GMC cracker box DL seventeen hundred out of Fort Madison, Iowa. Don't have a number on this. 1956 GB M&M &M LP gas on it. Powerful tractor when they was first came out. This next tractor is 1950 Formal MD, owned and operated by Christopher Eddy of Wapalo, Iowa. Nineteen fifty four Farm Hall Super MTA owned by Christopher Eddy of Wapalo, Iowa, and Christopher is the operator. This is a nineteen seventy eight model, half scale case, sixty five horse, owned by Dale Bohr of Toddville, operated by Dale and restored by the Bohr family. 1954 Farmall SMTA, owned and operated by Christopher Reddy of Wapalo, Iowa. 1983 built, half scale advance, owned by Lester Butterfield, Toddville, Iowa, operated by Brother Kevin. Uh, we this scale model of the oil pole 
Rumley, owned by Gary Wagner of Montrose, Iowa, and Everly is the operator. This is a third scale 65 case built between 67 and 72, owned by Jay Churchill of Glen Carbon, Illinois, operated by Jay. This is Altman Taylor 3060, owned by Midwest Old Thrashers, operated by Lewis Magnuson of Clarksville, Tennessee. And this is a half scale 16 double simple Reeves, owned by Larry Pittman of Carlisleville. Illinois, operated by Ben Pittman. 1913 Avery, 4080, one of the largest one built, known by Marvin Stokel, Tama, and Marvin is the operator. Here's a freelance two-fifth scale built between 2002 and 2006, owned by Mike Nichols, Fort Madison, Iowa, operated by Mike. This is Navery 2550, owned by Marvin Stokel of Tama, Iowa. Kim Pond is the operator. Nineteen eighteen Rumley Oil Pole 1638, owned by Leonard Harvey from uh, Rogersville. Don't have a state. And here's a third scale. Built in, uh, it's a third scale 65 horsepower case owned by Chris Burbank of Minneapolis, Minnesota. And the next one's an advance half scale Rumbly built in 1996, owned by Tom Turnbull of Leavenworth, Kansas, and it's operated by Matthew. 1919 Rumbly Oil Pole owned by Midwest Old Thrashers 2040, owned. Jer Austin Buckert and Jeremy Buckert are the operators. Austin is the operator. Jeremy's just there patting him on the back. And here's a uh, freelance model. It's got a 20 horse Stanley uh, engine in it, mounted on a truck chassis. It's owned by Earl and Dana DeWeese of Severna Park, Maryland, operated by the DeWeese family. 1923 Rumley, 2040 here in front. It is owned by Ken and Dan Burkert and Larry Holmes. And it's operated by Jared Burkert and his girlfriend. 220. 1925 Rumley, 1525. Owned and operated by Sonny Pace of Muscatine, Iowa. This is a 110 horsepower case built in 1913, owned by Old Thrashers. Operated by Mick Foster, Bob Stevens, Eric Douglas. This John Deere cat right here in front is a cat 10, owned by Dick Reynolds of Blakesburg, Iowa. We have no parade card for this uh, little Caterpillar two-ton. 1917 60 horsepower case owned by John and Darlene Deck of Wichita, Kansas. This next Caterpillar tractor coming up here. Nice looking one. We don't have a card on you, so fill out the card tomorrow. We'd appreciate it. Little D2 cat.
This is a 20 horsepower Nickel Shepherd owned by Threshers, uh, operated by Dale Fuller of Abington, Illinois. The bug is a driving, and Joyce Hoffmaster from Dayton, Ohio is a riding. 1930 Caterpillar 60, owned and operated by Thomas Rowan of Danville, Iowa. Here's our good friend Bob Lefevre from Peach Bottom, Pennsylvania, the 1932 Monarch 50 crawler, owned and operated by Bob Lefevre, your fender bender. The 1930 Huber 3245, owned and operated by John Hill of Wayland, Iowa. 1916, 22 horsepower Woods Brothers, owned by Frank and Annie Tharp of Albee, Iowa, operated by Frank. 1925 Twin City, 1744, owned by Mike Swansbury from Des Moines, Iowa, and Mike is the operator. Nineteen nineteen Twin City twelve twenty owned by Mike Swanberg of Des Moines, Iowa. Two thirty three. This is a five eight scale twenty two horsepower Woods Brothers, built in two thousand four, I think, in that general vicinity. Uh, built by John Shepard. Of Bloomfield and Tom Nichols of Eldon, operated by Tom and his lovely wife Kim. 1951 Ward's tractor here in front. HG's the model, owned by Robert Swansbury from Parole, Iowa, and Robert is the operator. The 1936 John Deere A, owned and operated by Randy Castor of Danville, Iowa. <laughs> 1948 John Deere D owned and operated by Michael Ronsbierler from Winfield, Iowa, and Michael is the operator. A 1920 20 horse or a well, it's a Minneapolis, built 1920, owned by Kenton Sutton of Seward, Nebraska, operated by him and Mr. Hadley. Nineteen twenty Titan ten twenty, owned by Joyce and Harney Voss of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Chris Voss and the California guys are the operators. And a bunch of happy people there. At least it's not raining. A nineteen twelve twenty horsepower Woods Brothers, owned by Mel and Judy Kerr of Macomb, Illinois, operated by Matt Berkey. Nineteen nineteen Titan International ten twenty owned by Daryl Brotherson from Tipton, Iowa, and Daryl's the operator. That's a nice hat you have there, sir. At least your ears is not getting sunburnt. This is the uh, Old Thrasher's engine of the year, is a steam area. It's an 18 horse uh, Woods Brothers, uh, built in 1911, owned by Bob Gilchrist of Whittier, Iowa. Bob is the operator. He had the help of restoring it. 
And make sure you keep that clean, Robert. We don't want the uh, paint to get all scratched because the painter is going to gripe. 1936 Formal F12, owned and operated by Gene Brotherton of Tipton, Iowa. Be a talk, huh? 1926 Farmall Regular, owned by Dustin Anderson from West Branch, Iowa, and Dustin is the operator. This is a 1919 Advanced Rumbly 20 horse, owned by Bob Gilchrist of Whittier, Iowa. Operated by Aaron Lloyd. It was bought last year in Texas and uh, at Sublime, Texas. I got to see this firsthand. So, anyway, it's here and um, the owner's here someplace. The previous owner. 1944 Formal H, owned by Dust Dustin Anderson of West Branch, Iowa. Madeline Anderson is the operator. 1914 40 horsepower case, also owned by Bob Gilchrist of Whittier, operated by Mike Ebert. 1936 Farm O F30, owned by Katie Anderson, West Branch Owen. Dustin is the operator, is that right? Got him back, turned around, okay. 1947 John Deere A, owned and operated by David Fritz of Burlington, Iowa. 1910 16 horsepower Gar Scott, owned by Nelson Smith of Brighton, operated by Dale Meeks of Waynesville, Ohio. 1941 Farm O H, owned by Nathan Fritz. From Burlington, Iowa, Nathan is the operator. 1937 John Deere B, owned by Robert Gilcrest of Springfield, Iowa, operated by the Gilcrest family. 1938 John Deere Model G, owned by the G Robert Gilchrist family from Springville, Iowa. 1917, 65 horsepower Port Huron tandem compound, owned by Rob Nelson and Richard Burroughs, operated by Jacob, restored by Rob. Clay Track HG68, owned, owned by Robert Gilchrist of Springfield, our Gilchrist family operating. An 1892 16 horse Minnesota Giant, owned by Mike Parker, Libertyville, Iowa, operated by David Chris Jewett and John Peterson, and restored by Mike. Had you got off the Stanley and got onto this. I'm proud of you, girl. This is a 1909 75 horsepower case owned by the Gertis family of Burlington, <laughs> Iowa. Operated by Jeff and assisted by Arbella Van Way. 1955 John Deere Model 50 owned by Cully Bramwell from New London, Iowa, and Marlene is the driver. 1955 John Deere 70, owned and operated by Marlene Reed of New London, Iowa. 
1917 40 horsepower case owned by the Gelberth brothers Rod, Joe, and Dave. 1952 John Deere Model AR owned by Sophie and Ad Addie from New London, Iowa, and Joe Lounsbury is the operator. 1937 John Deere A, owned and operated by Grant Lousenbury of New London, Iowa. A 1909 nine horsepower case owned by Joe Gilbreth, Sterling, Illinois, operated and restored by the same. 1957 John Deere 620, uh, owned by Larry Gerbershire of Yarmouth, Iowa, and Callie is the operator. This is a half scale Rumley built in 1964, owned by Tooney Melsh of Cedar Rapids, operated by Sarah Melsh, and looks like you got an overloaded wagon. 1937 John Deere B, owned by Tom Darbyshire of Yarmouth, Iowa. Jacob is the operator. 1954 Farmall Super 8. Next one. 1952 John Deere G. Owned by Joyce Derbyshire, Yarmouth, Iowa, and Larry Derbyshire is the operator. 1917 Woods Brothers, owned by Tooney Melsha Cedar Rapids, operated by Clint of Donaldson, Iowa. 1935 John Deere D owned by Larry Darbyshire Yarmouth Jordan is is the operator. 1937 John Deere Model B owned by Garland Wilkerson from Morning Sun Iowa and Garland is the owner. Nineteen thirty five John Deere B owned by the Helfrey family of Winfield, Iowa, Wendell Helfrey and Madden and assisted by great grandson. Another one of the Helfrey tractors, nineteen thirty six John Deere Model A, owned by Kathy Helfrey and operated by Kathy. This is an eighteen eighty nine ten horsepower Gar Scott. Owned by John Wall of Pine Bluff, Arkansas. Operated by John, John the Third, and Darby. The nineteen fifty John Deere two Nordic corn plant two ninety corn planter owned by Gittin Garrett of Wayland, Iowa. On a fifty John Deere. 1914 60 horsepower case owned by the Huffy Ironworks of Mount Pleasant, operated by Ken Huffaker, Whitney Barton. 1954 John Deere 60 owned by Alan Helfrey from Winfield, Iowa. Curtis is the operator. Alan's the operator. 1962 John Deere 4010, owned by Wendell and Dorothy Jean Helfrey of Winfield, Iowa. Curtis is the operator. 1914 Minneapolis 25 horse, owned by Matt and Mike Hall. Mike uh, lives in Chatham, Illinois, and Matt lives in Houghton, and operated by the same. 1936 Alice Chalmer WC, owned by Karen Garrett. Uh, of Wayland, Iowa, and assisted by Dorothy Jean Helfrey. 1954 Massey Harris 33, owned by Wendell Helfrey of Winfield, Iowa. Mark Garrett is the operator. 1951 Farm OM, owned by John Houseman from New London, Iowa, and Pete and Scott Haldman is the operators. 1912, 32 horsepower across compound Reeves, a Canadian special, 
Owned by Midwest Old Thrashers, operated by Mike Borders, which is Pup, or Fuzzy, and Drew Shoemaker, which is Pup. Nineteen fifty one formal age owned by the Hausman family of New London, Iowa. Nineteen forty seven formal A owned by Hannah Bosby. New London, Iowa, and the Hausman family is the owner. This Minneapolis uh, engine is owned by the uh, family here in Mount Pleasant, but they didn't put a card in today. A 1942 Case SC, owned and operated by Deanna, Deanna Connolly of Morning Sun, Iowa. Nineteen thirty nine John Deere Model B owned by Larry Bickford Junior from Wapalo, Iowa, and Larry and Shirley is the owners, driven by Larry. A nineteen ten thirty horsepower Huber return flu owned by Leroy McClure of Colchester, operated by Kevin Hanley, assisted by Charlie Lane. And Squeaky's on there too, Don Harden. 1940 John Deere B, owned by Larry and Shirley Bickford of Wapalo, Iowa. Great granddaughter Patlin G is the operator. 1950 M&M RTU, Riley Hensel from Morning Sun, Iowa, and Ron Royer family is the owner. Nineteen fifty three Farmel Super C owned by Lon Royer family, Morning Sun, Iowa. Kristen Henning is the operator. A nineteen fourteen twenty horsepower Harrison Jumbo, owned by Leroy McClure of Colchester, operated by Bob Jacoby and Sherry Voy. Nineteen thirty eight John Deere Model A, owned by Colton Henzo, Morning Sun and Ron Royer is the owners. Colton is the operator. Nineteen fifty one Massey Harris forty four owned in, by Ron Royer of Morning Sun Hour. Matthew Henning is the operator. Nineteen forty nine Massey Harris twenty two. Operated by Lon Maroria from Morning Sun. Lon is the owner. A 1920 20-horsepower Advance Rumley owned by the John Beer family of Palmyra. Operated by Riley and Brad Beer. Nineteen fifty nine formal five sixty diesel owned and operated by Justin Miller of Fairfield, Iowa. Nineteen fifty three formal super C owned by Craig Miller from Fairfield, Iowa. Justin Miller is the owner. Nineteen twenty nine Massey Harris Wallace twenty thirty owned and operated by Kenneth McKinley of Morning Sun Isle. A nineteen thirty seven built for parts, I guess. They don't usually build them that late. This is the last one that they or second to the last they built. Twenty five horsepower kitten owned by Michelle McClure of Colchester, operated by Morgan and Samantha, and along with Michelle on there. 
1948, Massey Air is 22, and owned, operated by Randy McElhaney from Morning Sun, Iowa, and Randy is the owner. 1914, 20 horsepower advance, owned by Aaron Bixler, Mount Pleasant, operated by, by Aaron, and assisted by his mother, that works well. He just got that done here about, uh, probably about three weeks ago, he uh, rebuilt it, so he did good. And Larry's on the back. 1936, John B owned by Jerry Giro. 1936, Alice Chalmer, WC, right here in front, and owned by Roger D. Graber from Mount Pleasant, Iowa, and Roger's, not a Roger. Don't be afraid to put your name on there. <laughs> Half scale of a case owned by Ron Craigs of Kilbourne, Illinois. And Ron's riding the water wagon. 1954 Formal Super MTA owned by Chuck Peck of Wayland, Iowa. Doug Walker is the operator. 1951 Ford 8N owned by Courtney Bates, Washington, Iowa. Courtney is the owner or the operator. 1957 Farmall Cub owned by Kenneth Paul of Brighton, Iowa. Jackie Walker is the operator with a passel in the back. 1913, 18 horsepower Woods Brothers owned by Nick Foster at Jefferson, Iowa, operated by Mike Rohde and Peyton Rivera. 1959, John Deere 430, owned by Connor Johnson of Winfield, Iowa, and Gary Johnson is the owner. 1915, 65 horsepower case, owned by Alan Melinda Hussinga of Mount Pleasant, operated by Victoria Nussel Road and assisted by her father, Bob. 1959, John Deere 530, owned by Gary Johnson of Winfield, Iowa. Brett Johnson is the operator. 1959 John Deere 630, owned by Gary Johnson of Winfield, Iowa. And Gary Johnson is the owner and the operator. 1959. Next tractor is a 1959 730 diesel John Deere, owned by Gary Johnson of Winfield, Iowa. 1941 Alice Chelmer Model C, owned by Derek Fetzer from Mount Pleasant, Iowa, and Carl Lund is the owner. A 1920, 1850 Huber, owned by the Coonrod family of Cedar Rapids, operated by Alan Doran, assisted by Janet Smith. 1949 John Deere A, owned by Carl Lund of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Ethan Fetzer is the operator. 1922, 75 horsepower case, owned by Dick Campbell and Chris Herring of Ground Mound, Iowa. Operated by Chris and Dick Campbell. 19... Uh, that hasn't got the year. It's John Deere, 830. Neil Davis of Winfield, Iowa. Carl Davis is the owner or the operator. 1959 John Deere, 730. Owned by Carl Davis of Winfield, Iowa. Kerry Davis is the operator. 1917, 65 horsepower case. Correction, 36 horsepower case. Steamroller operated, owned by the Coonrod family of Cedar Rapids. Operated by Kenny Hansen, restored by the Coonrod family. 1959 John Deere 630, owned by Carl Davis 
Winfield, Iowa, and Carl is the owner. Nineteen thirty one Rumley six, owned by Merlin and Joyce Scarf of Anita, Iowa. Merlin and Joyce are the operators. Nineteen thirty seven John Deere Model A, owned by Alex Johns from Monmouth, Illinois. Ron Gilbert is the owner. 1923 Advanced Rumble Universal, owned by Dwayne Coonrod, Cedar Rapids, operated by Sean Siebold. Boy, there we go. Go ahead. 1957 Case 350, owned by the Bucker Farm of Hamilton, Illinois. It's 305, oh, just for 400. Nineteen nineteen twenty horsepower advanced rumbly owned by John Johnson of Springville, Iowa, operated by John. Nineteen fifty seven John a uh, case four hundred high crop here in front, known by the Bucker Farms of Hamilton, Illinois. Jared Bucker is the operator. Only 33 of those built. 1930. It's little 430 John Deere here is owned by Alan Bucker here, the director in the area. Daniel Murphy from Carthage, Illinois, or Hamilton is the uh, operator. This next 2010 coming up here is uh, owned by the Bookard Farms of Hamilton, Illinois, is operated by nephew uh, Kevin Bookard and Luke, but uh, give her up and went to sleep, didn't he? 1915 40 horsepower case owned by Andrew Delaney, Cedar Rapids, operated by Andrew Delaney and Cole Berkey. Johnny Johnson is the uh, restorer. John Deere 1010 owned by the Bucker Farms of Hamilton, Illinois. Austin Buckert is the operator. 1932. John Deere GP Wide Tread, owned by Marlon Engel of Aquaqua, Illinois, and Marion Engels is the operator. There we go. 1924, 25 horsepower Russell, owned by John Garls of Barrington, Illinois, operated by John and Blake Garls. 1936 Formal F30, owned by Steve Ingalls of Aquaca, Illinois. Morgan is the operator. 1949 Formal M, owned by the Ward family of Houghton, Iowa. Jacob Puttoff on far side is the operator. Well, I don't know which one's operating. Maybe both of them a little bit. 1914 2060 double simple Gar Scott owned by Russell Lamp of Letts, Iowa. And they're pulling a Tangley Calliope, which was made in Muscatine. Restored and operated by Russell and Jerry Lamp. 1939 Formal A, owned by owned and operated by Pat Mitchell of Warsaw, Missouri. 1945 John Deere Model H, owned by Keith Mitchell from Warsaw, Missouri, and Keith is the owner and Keith is the operator. 
Here's a 1919 A.D. Baker 2175, owned by Scott Wiley of Marion, Iowa, assisted by John Stute of Springville, and the Avery Water Wagon is owned and restored by Scott. Nineteen fifty two Case SC owned and operated by Mark Lunsford of Eddyville, Iowa. The eighteen ninety two twelve horsepower advance uh, owned by Wade and Alan Smith at Grand Mound, Iowa, operated by Allen. Originally it was a straw burner machine. We have another Case SC coming in here. I don't have a card on it. Nineteen sixteen Avery Top Mount, owned by Jerry Weiss of DeWitt, Iowa, operated by Jerry. Restored by Ellen and Wade Smith. 1941 Formal H, owned and operated by Rox and Vigla of Riverside, Iowa. This next John Deere coming in here, nice sound in 1957 John Deere 620. Owned and operated by Jeff Wyatt of Riverside, Iowa. The nineteen fifty John Deere B owned and operated by Matthew Dean of Burlington, Iowa. A 1902 18 horsepower Northwest New Giant, owned by Wayne Kennedy of Danville, operated by Wayne Stark of Republic, assisted by Wayne. This next John Deere is a 1951 Model A, owned by Matthew Dean of Burlington, Iowa. Matthew's the operator. Nineteen twenty eight John Deere GP owned by Blaine Stout of Lovilla, Iowa. Chloe Stout is the operator. A nineteen twenty three seventy five horsepower case owned by Midwest Old Thrashers, operated by Jack Sadell of Knoxville, Illinois, if anybody cares, and Andy Retro of Mexico, Missouri, if anyone cares. <laughs> This next John Deere is a 1936 AR owned by Marty Williams of Tracy, Iowa, and Sailor Rosenboom is the operator. 1939 ACRC owned by owned and operated by Robert Blue of Canton, Illinois. We have no information on it. 1916 40 horsepower case owned by Roland Van Vark of Pella, Iowa. Operated by Roland, restored by the Van Vark Brothers. Here we have a 1959 Case 800, owned by Steve Rosenboom of Bessie, Iowa, and Shelby Rosenboom is the operator. A 1945 Formal H, owned by Jeff Baker of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Let's see, looks like Jeff operating it. And nope, Dean is. That's Dean Crable operating. I was sitting in the seat. A 1917 50 horsepower case, owned by Susan and Brian Van Vark of Pella, Iowa, operated by Clay Van Vark and Peter Swank, restored by the Van Vark family. 
This 1938 Farmall F-14 is owned by Chris Shear of Loudoun, Iowa, and Chris and Elizabeth are the operators. 1953 IH Farmall Cub owned by Chris Shear of Loudoun, Iowa. Anthony and Jonathan are the operators. A 1912 18 horsepower Undermount Avery owned by Jay Sigafoos, Iowa City, operated by Jay. This next McCormick International Orchard Tractors, an 04, 1946, owned by Lauren Hickman of Princeton, Missouri, and Jacob Hickman is the operator. A 1917, 16 double simple Reeves, owned by the J. Pugh Gallahue family of Piper City, Illinois, operated by John III and Courtney. Formal F-30, owned and operated by Gerald Ellers, Jr. of Monticello, Iowa. This next one with the umbrella here is a 1944 Formal B, owned by Gary Ehlers of Ground, Mon Ground Mound, Iowa, and Gene Ehlers is the operator. First one's an 1886 12 horsepower case owned by Tom Sater of Mount Pleasant, operated by Brian Warsa of Donaldson and Leah Harvey of Argyle. And behind it is a case portable that was made in 1879. It's an eight, eight horse. It's owned by Wayne Kennedy of Danville, and it was restored by Wayne after uh, many, many years. And this is its first year in return. 1941 Formal Lamb, owned by Mike Ellers of Scotch Grove, Iowa. Don is the operator. This next one's 1952 Farmall Super C, owned by Tyler Wammersmith from Davenport, Iowa, and Ann Taylor is the operator. Nineteen fifty one Formal M, owned and operated by Don Rickmanster Skirch of Davenport, Iowa. A 1913 20 horsepower return flew Avery, owned by Jeff and Charlize Ruth of Rogersville, Missouri, operated by Jeff. It's a 1933 Farmall F30, owned and operated by Dustin Holmes from Anamosa, Iowa. Nineteen fifty five Farmall four hundred owned and operated by Judy Himes of Anamosa. You don't look like a Judy. A nineteen fourteen twelve horsepower Russell owned by Jerry Fricky and Sharon Davis. I pray by Tracy Berry, David Berry, and John Berry, restored by Bill Perrineau. 1985, 6-horsepower Nickel Shepherd, owned by Sharon Davis, the Salem, Iowa, operated by John Brewington, Tom Masters. Restored by Craig Dobbins. 1936 John Deere A, owned by Blair Buffington of Tucson, Arizona. Jordan Mayashi is the operator. A little bigger John Deere is the John Deere Model D. It's a 1931, owned by Niall Buffington of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. And Blair Buffington is the operator. 1882 10 horsepower Harrison owned by Steve Kuntz of Valley Park, Missouri operated by Steve. 1930 John Deere GP wide tread owned by Heather Robertson of Gunnison, Colorado. 
Heather is the operator. This next John Deere coming up here is a 1935 John Deere Model B, owned by Matt Kroll here of Mount Pleasant, Iowa, driven by Shelby Bride, assisted by Jimmy. Got some more help there too, don't you, Jimmy? Shelby's been helping us with the internet here at the Tractor Land, so visit Tractor Land page, see all the pictures Shelby's put on there. 1951 Case DC, owned by Eric and Kelly Hossetti of Charlotte, Iowa. Eric is the operator. It's a, sort of a freelance, it's a road engine. It's a Nickel Shepherd uh, boiler with a Reeves uh, twin cylinder engine on a Mack truck chassis. Warren, he saw this these racing in the early, late 50s, early 60s, so he built one and is owned by the Coonrod, operated by Alexa Delaney and Lester Butterfield, and behind it is another Tangley Calliope built in 1929, and it's also operated by the Coonrod family. This next John Deere is 1947 AR, which is a wide front A, owned by Paula Dole of LeClaire, Iowa. Denny and Paula are the operators. The 1935 Huber HK, owned by Ann Pelly of Wheatland, Iowa, operated by Kayla Fred, assisted by Ann. Dick Buckwalt's driving in this 1950 John Deere Model M. It's owned by Megan and Molly from an Omaha, Nebraska. Dixie operator today. Nineteen sixty four John Deere thirty twenty, owned by Ken and Marlene Perkins of Bennett, Iowa, and this is their son and their granddaughter. They forgot to put your names in. So give him heck when you get back. This next John Deere is a little H. It's a nineteen I think it's a forty two. 43? Okay. It's owned by Kathy Clark from Durant, Iowa, and she's the owner and operator. The 1950 Alice Chalmers C, owned by Harry and Diane Sherwood of Wilton, Iowa. Harry is the operator. Leon Ratchin's ringing up this 1931 Alice Chalmer UC with a Continental Motor. Leon's from Wilton, Iowa. The 1949 Case DCLP, owned by the Ratchins of Wilton, Iowa. Deb Humston is the operator. The Farmall on this side is a 1947 Farmall H. Owned by Darren Fisher of Creston, Iowa. Darren is the operator. Nineteen forty four John Deere B, owned and operated by Jeff Chapman of Indianola, Iowa. We're going to get into a few Masseys now. We have a Massey thirty. Owned by Herb Lamack of Welton, Iowa. Is that Connie driving? Hi, Connie. Nineteen fifty-two Massey Harris forty-four, owned and operated by Trila Lamack of Welton, Iowa. This next. 1950 Massey Harris 44 Standard Diesels owned by Herb Lamack of Welton, Iowa, and Herb's the operator. 1946 Massey Harris 102 owned and operated by Glenda Dobbins of Duran, Iowa. This next tractor here is a 1955 53 
55 LP gas owned by Howard Dobbins of Durant, Iowa, and Howard's the operator. Howard also helps run the pedal pull, so that'll be going on later today at Tractor Headquarters. 1946 Massey Harris 101 Jr. owned by Tim and Connie Pace, Muscatine, Iowa. Tim Pace is the operator. It's 1961 Minneapolis Moline Jet Stars owned by Fred Yensky from Muscatine, Iowa, and Fred's the operator. 1944 Harper Special. It's a homemade tractor owned and operated by Jim Daw of Montrose, Iowa. This 1944 John Deere D. It's a style D. It's owned by Gerald Dingman of New London, Iowa, and Kyle Campbell is the operator. 1938 Case R. Owned by Dorothy and Paul Martin of Marion, Iowa. Dorothy is the operator. This wide front Case DC on this side is owned by Paul and Dorothy Martin of Marion, Iowa, and Paul is the operator. Paul and Dorothy both really help us over in tractor headquarters. The 1951 case SC, owned by owned and operated by Albert Martin of Springfield, Iowa. This narrow front case coming up here is a case 350. It's a 1957, owned by Karen Martin of Springville, Iowa, and Karen is the operator. The 1961 case 830 Wheatland, owned by Stephen Martin of Springfield, Iowa. Stephen is the operator. This case SC coming up here with the cultivator on it. It's a 1949 SC case owned by Ken Klopp of Danville, Iowa, and Shane Oskbrenner is the operator. 1951 Formal H owned by John Butler of Marion, Iowa. Trevor Alferts is the operator. This next Farmall F20 coming up here is owned by John and Don Butler of Marion, Iowa. And we want to wish them a happy 28th wedding anniversary. John and Don help us out. They run the gas truck, do a lot of other things around here. And Don has put up with John for 28 years. I think you told us this morning about 10 times. <laughs> 1934 Alice Chalmers, WC, owned and operated by Casey Conrad of Olds, Iowa. This John Deere on my side here is a 1934 John Deere A, owned by Lyle Conrad of Olds, Iowa. Nineteen thirty nine John Deere model L owned and operated by Jared Conrad of Salem, Iowa. It's a nineteen fifty Alice Chalmer WD owned by Seth Klein of Grinnell, Iowa, and Seth is the operator. Nineteen forty one Formal H owned and operated by Rick Taylor of Marion, Iowa. This next farm all is a little B. Owned and operated by Dale Taylor of Bloomfield, Iowa. Pulling a little manure spreader. 1936 John Deere B. Owned by Kenton Kloppenstein of Winfield, Iowa. Kenton is the operator. This little farm all coming up here is an F12. They made several different sizes from 12, 14, 20, and 30. This 12 is owned by Gary Lee Morris from Montezuma, Iowa. 1936 John Deere B, owned by Roger Schaefer of Birmingham, Iowa. Roger and Rory are the operators. This next John Deere is a 1936 Model A, owned by Roger Schaefer of Birmingham, Iowa. Nate Phillips and Riley are the operators. The 1946 Farmal C, owned and operated by Audrey Wigand of Drakesville, Iowa. This next Farmall coming in is a little bigger. It's a 1953 Farmall Super W6 owned by David Weingard from Drakesville, Iowa. 
1953 John Deere 60, owned and operated by Keaton Phillips of Ollie, Iowa. 1953 John Deere 60, owned and operated by Keaton Phillips of Ollie, Iowa. This next farm all coming in here has got a loader on it. It's an F20. That manure spreader sure beat doing that by hand. Or that manure bucket. 1948 John Deere A, owned and operated by Hillary Landman of Fremont, Iowa. Pulling this plow is a John Deere Model B, owned by Matthew Landman of Ottumwa, Iowa, and Matthew's the operator. And 1949 John Deere H, owned and operated by Ken Burden of New London, Iowa. The one on this side here is a 1944 John Deere Model B, owned by Andy Pepper of Dixon, Illinois. We have no parade card on the John Deere Diesel 70. This John Deere A is owned by Richard McGowan from Mount Pleasant, Iowa, and Richard's the operator. Ferguson TO30, owned and operated by Robert Reisner of Osceola, Iowa. This next John Deere A is a style A. It's a 1950, owned by Mary Griffiths of Libertyville, Iowa. Nineteen fifty-seven Ford 800, owned by Troy Stevens of Fairfield, Iowa. Keith Simmons is the operator. It's a 1943 John Deere Model B, owned by Tom Busser from Letts, Iowa. Tom's the operator. 1948 B.F. Avery V. Owned and operated by Gary Duff of Marlette, Minnesota. This Case L coming up here is owned by Midwest Old Threshers and is operated by Allen and Rosalind Grimm from Charlotte, Iowa. 1947 A.B.F. Avery A. Owned and operated by Vivian Sparks of Ewing, Missouri. The far side is a 1951 Farmall MD. It's owned by Charles Bill McComer from Cascade, Iowa. Looks like we're pulling a W30 through there. Farmall 30, owned by James Bruns of Bernard, Iowa. Tammy Bruns is the operator. It's a Farmall 300, owned by James Burns of Bernard, Iowa, and Tammy Burns is the operator. 1930K CC, owned by Dean Graham Jr. of Charlotte, Iowa, Alicia is the operator. It's a 1941 John Deere B, owned by Nathan Pepper of Brighton, Iowa. Nathan is the operator. I don't have a second. We have no parade card for 507. John so we have Deere. 1951 John Deere G, owned by Ed and Charlene Segerman of Mount Pleasant, Iowa, and Jeremy Lee is the operator. Nope, that's Ed driving it. That's a 1937 John Deere A. We're pulling a two-row planter. 1947 Farmall B, owned by Marjorie Patterson from Glen Allen, Virginia. 1956 John Deere 40, 420, owned and operated by Ed Zigerman and John Sadler of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. This nice little 230 Farmall, all painted up nice. 1949 Farmall M, owned and operated by Matt Sanford of Des Moines, Iowa. Kelly Richards from Donaldson, Iowa is bringing in his 1961 John Deere 2010. 1947 Ford 2N, owned and operated by Dennis Brooks of Ames, Iowa. Got a little wagon here behind this John Deere B. 1936, owned by Alan Doran from Boone, Iowa, and Allison Brooks is the operator. 1947 Ford 2N, owned and operated by Willie Boyd of Hallsville, Missouri. This little Ford homemade doodle bug is owned by Willie Boyd from Hallsville, Missouri. It's a 1931 Ford.
1950 Formal H, owned and operated by Tia Smith of Del Mar, Iowa. This is one on this side, it's a 1952 Farmall Cub Industrial, owned by Matt Sanford and Jim Bayer of Des Moines, Iowa, and Skylar Sanford is the operator. We have no parade card for number 523. This 524 here is 1937 Farmall F20, owned by John Marson from Basco, Illinois. 1939 McCormick Daring W30, owned and by, operated by Marv Holkamp of Donaldson, Iowa. Pulling these two little wagons, a 1953 Super A, owned by Ernie Loft of Kirksville, Missouri, and Ernie's the operator. Really has that painted up and shined up nicely. 1951 Ferguson TO20, owned by Ernie Loft of Kirksville of Missouri. Michael Harden is the operator. This next little farmall cub is a 1948 cub, owned by Bernie Loft of Harden, Illinois, and John Grimes is the operator. The 1948 Ford 8N, owned by William Gunther of Washington, Iowa. William is the operator, and that's not right. It's a 1944 John Deere Model B, owned by Bob Benverlo from Ursa, Illinois, and Bob's the operator. No parade card for 527. On the other side is a 1954 Farmall MTA owned by Larry Meyer of Wayland, Iowa, and Larry's the operator. 1953 Farmall Super C owned by Larry Meyer of Mount Pleasant, Ryan is the operator. This next Ferguson come up here is a TO30 owned by Ed Demikstrick from Brighton, Iowa. And Ed is the operator. 1949 Ford 8N, owned by Linda Selinski of Fairfield, Iowa. Sean is the operator. This next Dallas Chalmer coming up here is a 1964, first year it could exhibit. It's a D21 Alice Chalmer. They sure made those very nice looking tractors. 1950 Alice Chalmers WD, owned by Merlin Beauchart of Wayland, Iowa. Merlin is the operator, and that's not right. Is it? Close enough? We have a 1936 Alice Chummer WC, owned and operated by Kevin Clark from Wayland, Iowa. Nineteen thirty four Alice Chalmers WC, owned and operated by Robert Crable of Uniontown, Ohio. We have a 1936 John Deere Model A owned by Dustin Yakes from Waterloo, Iowa. Dustin is the owner and operator. 1944 John Deere A owned and operated by Dean Wilson of Washington, Iowa. 1944. Little Ford coming up here is an NHA owned by Gene Wise from Wayland, Iowa. It's a 1954 Ford HNA. 1948 Ford 8N, owned by Ermadine Beauchard of Wayland, Iowa. Kurt Albright, Jr. is the operator. 1949 Farmall M, owned by Milton Snicker from Washington, Iowa. 1935 Alice Chalmers WC, owned by Norman Beauchard of Wayland. Dan Mana is the operator. No, Norman is the operator on this one. The one on the far side is a 1949 Alice Chalmer WD owned by Norman also from Wayland, Iowa. Nice looking little Farmall 200, no parade card. <laughs> on the far side there is a 1953 Farmall Super C owned by 
Moropatia of Washington, Iowa. Morse is the operator. Nineteen thirty-five Alice Chalmers WC owned and operated by Marcus Tagger Tagger of Hillsboro, Iowa. This big John Deere coming up here is a Model R owned by Jeff and Connie Gone from Bloomfield, Iowa. Jeff is the operator. 1941 John Deere H owned by Jeff and Connie Kahn of Bloomfield, Iowa. Emily Morian, Morian is the operator. On this side over here, there's a 1940 John Deere Model L. Got a little blade on it. It's owned by Carl Wickham from Mount Pleasant, Iowa. And Carl's the operator. This is a farm old regular owned and operated by Matt, owned by John Arbor Husky of Muscatine, Iowa. Matt is, is the operator. 1949 Alice Chalmer WD owned by Earl Swaggart from Mount Pleasant, Iowa and Russell Hertz, the operator. We have no parade guard on the little Ford 8N. You can go ahead and smile though. <laughs> This is a 1952 Alice Chalmer WD, owned by Robert Swaggart from Mount Pleasant, Iowa. And Jeremiah is the operator. 1953 Alice Chalmers WD 45, owned by, owned by Earl Swaggart of Mount Pleasant. Doug Wasson is the operator. In 1955 Alice Chalmer WD 45, owned by Earl Swaggart from Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Gary Shear is the operator. Nineteen fifty-seven AC WD forty-five owned by Robert Schrager of Mount Pleasant. Nick Kruger is the operator. This nineteen sixty-three Alice Chammer D seventeen owned by Earl Swagger from Mount Pleasant, Iowa, and Earl's the operator. Nineteen forty three Alice Chalmers B owned by Mary Dearest of Wayland, Iowa. Jill Deek is the operator. This little nineteen forty three Alice Chalmer Model B is owned by Mary Dears from Wayland, Iowa and Jill Dietrich's the operator. Nineteen fifty six AC W D forty five owned and operated by Dwight Dears of Fairfield, Iowa. Looks like you got your help with you today. 1962 Farmall Cub with a sickle mower owned by Ethan Vizant from Mystic, Iowa. And Ethan is the operator assisted by his dad, Mike. 1947 International Harvester IHCH owned and operated by David Vincent of Mystic, Iowa. On the far side is our good friend Jerome Vitito on his 1952 McCormick Daring Super W6. Jerome just got that. 1936 Farmall F20 owned and operated by Wilford Vitito of Washington, Iowa. This is the fourth generation in the farms. And Bill's got a display of tile over there too by his tractor, so stop by and see that. Over here, he's got a 1956 John Deere 720, owned by Lawrence Shorty Binge from Dowds, Iowa. Shorty's the operator, assisted by Tyler and Maggie. 1943 John Deere B, owned by Tim and Kathleen Denning of Victoria, Illinois. Tim and Kathleen are the operators. Coming in here is a 1929 Case CC, owned by Curtis Sage of Waterloo, Iowa. It's got a wind power RC120 behind it. 
1936 McCormick Deering WK40, owned and operated by Andrew Dawson of Macon, Missouri. We got a nice John Deere 1937 John Deere A, owned by Carl and Richard McNamee from Delmer, Iowa. 1937 John Deere B, owned and operated by Richard Mack and me of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Wave to everybody, Sheriff. On the far side, the 1938 John Deere Model B, owned by Jim McNamee from Delmer, Iowa. 1937 ACWC, owned and operated by Eric Lowell of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. 1950 John Deere Model B, owned by Barbara Lau from Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Barbara and Sweet 16. Miranda Hayes is on the operator. 1951 Case SC, owned by Bill Nicely of Donaldson, Iowa. Bill Nicely also owns his 1951 Farmall Super C. And Bill's the operator. 1949 Case LA, owned and operated by Dean Miller of Kelowna, Iowa. Pulling the manure spreader on the other side is a 1937 Farmall F20, owned by Dan Boozer of Lone Tree, Iowa, and Jack and Ella are the operators. 1957 Farmall Cub Low Boy, owned and operated by Robert Buser of Nichols, Iowa. And Mike Buser also owns a 1955 Alice Chalmer WD45s. 1955 Mount Vernon, Iowa. 1958 ACCA, owned and operated by Brian Buser of Nichols, Iowa. On the far side, we have a wide front, W50, or excuse me, WD45, owned by Sean Michael from Norway, Iowa. Sean is the operator. 1939 John Deere A, owned and operated by Larry Michael of West Branch, Iowa. We have a 1939 John Deere Model A, owned by Larry Michael from West Branch, Iowa. 1958 John Deere 520, owned and operated by Jim Michael of Wanakee, Wisconsin. We have a 1950 John Deere Model B, owned by Mark Shepard from Albia, Iowa. Mark's the operator. 1945 John Deere B, owned and operated by, owned by Anthony Gilland of Albi, Iowa. Tony Gilliland is the operator. 650 diesel owned by Matt Gilland of Albia, Iowa. It's one of the largest internationals they made, 1958. 1958 John Deere 520 owned by the Pennington family of Lucas, Iowa. Brian Pennington is the operator. And that's not right. This little Alice Chalmer here is a Model G owned by Stan Gilland from Blakesburg, Iowa, and Stan is the operator. Looks like you got a little help there. 1940 Formal A, owned and operated by Scott Gilland of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. 
It's a 1948 liter Model B owned by Don and Kathy Jones from Keokuk, Iowa. Nineteen thirty-six, Alice Chalmers WC, owned and operated by John Street of Eureka, Illinois. Pulling the plow planner is nineteen thirty-five, Alice Chalmers WC, owned by Danny Peterson of Mount Pleasant, Iowa, and Josh Terrence is the operator. Nineteen thirty-five, Alice Chalmers U, owned by Jim Daniel Peterson of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Jim Terrine is the operator. Danny Peterson's uh, driving his 1928 Wallace 2030. 1947 Massey Harris 30, owned and, and operated by Clayton Loving, New London. What number is that? 44. It's a 1951 Massey Harris 44, owned by Dave Loving of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. 1947 Massey Harris 44-6, owned and operated by Dave Loving, Mount Pleasant, Iowa. This 1954 Massey Harris 44 Special, owned and operated by Jason Loving from New London, Iowa. 1954 John Deere 70 Diesel, owned and operated by Daniel Walker, Valbia, Iowa. 1954 Massey Harris 44 Special, owned and operated by Daniel Walker, Valbia, Iowa. This is a little John Deere L, owned by Stephanie Gillen from Fremont, Iowa, and Stephanie's Stephanie's the operator. 1956 Massey Harris 444, owned by Dave Loving in Mount Pleasant. Brian Phipps is the operator. 1947 Massey Harris 55, one of the bigger tractors they made at that time, owned by Jason Loving of New London, Iowa. 1952 John Deere G, owned and operated by Paul Hoyle of Fairfield, Iowa. 1952. Next John Deere coming up here is a 1939 John Deere Model B, owned by Wayne Hoyle from Crawfordsville, Iowa. And Wayne is the driver. 1948 BF Every B, owned by Wendell Schellenbarger of Pleasant Hill, Iowa. Wendell is the operator. This next is a Model T conversion. It's a 1923 Ford, owned by Dean Yoder from Iowa City, Iowa, and Dean's the operator. 1924 Ford T conversion, owned by Dean Yoder of Iowa City. 1951 Farmall M owned by Jeff and Jerry Crowell from Fairfield, Iowa. 1939 John Deere B owned by Lloyd Bank of Salem, Iowa. Jim Shellabody is the operator. This was purchased new by his grandfather. 1959. Nineteen fifty two case VAC owned by Floyd Schaefer of Fairfield, Iowa. Floyd also owns his nineteen forty four case VAI, which is an industrial, and Floyd is from Fairfield, Iowa.
1953 IH Super H, owned by Bart Vandenberg of Donaldson. Kenny is the operator. On the other side is a 1957 Inter International 350, owned by Bert Vandenberg from Donaldson, Iowa. Nineteen thirty seven Case L owned and operated by Royal Johnson or West Liberty, Iowa. It's so a 1934 Alice Chalmer WC owned by Ron Bauer from Fairfield, Iowa. Ron's the operator. Nineteen fifty seven John Deere six twenty owned by Ronald Bauer of Fairfield. Jeanette Bauer is the operator. It's a 1959 John Deere 630, owned and operated by Walt Church from S Salem, Iowa. A 1952 John Deere A, owned by Walt Church of Salem, Kenton, and Dalton are the operators. This next John Deere coming up, it's a 1952 John Deere Model B, owned by Mike Weber of Brighton, Iowa, and he's assisted by the grandchildren Ian, Michael, and Isabel. Owned originally by Ed Weber and is bought brand new. We have no parade car, but I believe I can read it. 1950, Massey Harris 30, Gary. This is sorry, a nice I can't little read Alice Chalmer D17, owned by Bailey Doyle of Warsaw, Illinois. 1954 International Super Age, owned and operated by Howard Smith of Birmingham. This next John Deere is a 1958 John Deere 630, owned by Howard Smith of Birmingham, Iowa. Jim Smith is the operator. They have that distinctive sound. No card on little John Deere. This next farm all coming up here is a John Deere H, or excuse me, a farm all H, 1950, owned by Gary Sparks of Fairfield, Iowa, and Gary's the operator. 1953 Farm All Super M, owned and operated by Robert Castle of Fairfield, Iowa. This next tractor here is a 1956 John Deere 70 diesel, owned by Mike. Helwig from Fairfield, Iowa, and Mike's the operator. No parade guard. It's a John Deere 50, and I believe it belongs to Mike Helwig. A little bigger tractor here, John Deere 720, owned by Josh Helwig from Fairfield, Iowa, and Josh is the operator. Nice 720. 1954 Farmo Super MTA, owned and operated by Aaron Sheets of Stockport, Iowa. Nineteen thirty nine John Deere Model B, owned by Steve Beckel from Fairfield, Iowa, and Steve is the operator. 1951 John Deere B, owned by Don and Steve Eagle of Fairfield, Iowa. Don is the operator. This little gray tractor, 1941 Ford 9N, owned by Richard Bloomquist from Fairfield, Iowa, and Richard is the operator. Yeah, we didn't do as good as I thought we were going to do, but 
A 1930 Hart Par 1836, owned and operated by David Van Sant of Harvey, Iowa. This 1945 John Deere BR, owned by Ron Van Zandt from Oskaloosa, Iowa. You can see the round spokes there on the back wheels. 1926 Wallace 2030, owned and operated by D Van, Steve Van Zandt, Knoxville, Iowa. 1929 John Deere Model D owned by Gerald Van Zant from Tracy, Iowa, and Gerald is the operator. 1953 Case DC owned and operated by Larry Hartwig of Della, Iowa. 1957. We have a 1947 Massey Harris 20 owned by Gail Fisher from Willisca, Iowa. Gail is the operator. 1938 Alice Chalmers WC, owned and operated by Robert and Deb Vanderhertz of Pleasantville, Iowa. 1948 Alice Chalmers C, owned by Bobby Amons from Pleasantville, Iowa, and Bobby's the operator. 1951 John Deere L, owned and operated by Kevin Turpin, Turpin of Knoxville, Iowa, Ill Knoxville, Illinois. 1947 model A, owned by Dennis Turpking from Kirkwood, Illinois. 1947 model A, owned by Dennis Turpking from Kirkwood, Illinois. Dennis is the operator. The 1940 Minneapolis Moline, UTU, owned and operated by Mike Jamison of Columbus Junction, Iowa. 1942 Farmall Model B owned by Kurt Sparrow of Mount Pleasant, Iowa, and Kurt is the operator. 1936 Farmall F20 owned by Larry and Scott Wilmoth of Indian Iowa. Larry is the operator. 1942 Farmall H owned by Linda Wellsmith. From Indianola, Iowa, and Linda is the operator. 1937 Farmall F20, owned and operated by Don Northrup of West Burlington, Iowa. This Case 500 here is owned by Lane Crumley from Wapolo, Iowa. It's a 1957, and Lane is the operator. 1963 Massey Ferguson 65, owned and operated by Cody Crumley of Grandview, Iowa. The little John Deere with the plows, a 1944 John Deere Model L, owned by Randy Belzer from Batavia, Iowa. Randy is the operator. 1942 Farmall H, owned and operated by Philip Newquist of Agency, Iowa. 1941 John Deere Model H, owned by Matt Vanderlinden from Knoxville, Iowa. Mike is the operator. 1960 AC D17, owned and operated by Brandon Tagler, Fairfield, Iowa. It's a 1929 Farmall Regular, owned by Levi Amron from Brighton, Iowa, and Levi is the operator. 1958 Dallas Chalmers B, owned and operated by Brian Tagler of Fairfield, Iowa. It's a little 1949 Alice Chalmers G, owned by Mitchell Tagler from Brighton, Iowa. 1949 ACG, owned and operated by Mitchell Tagler, Brighton, Iowa. This next is a 1940 Farmall M, owned by Chris Amron from Brighton, Iowa. Chris is the operator. 1953 Massey Harris 44, owned and operated by Edward Smith of Salem, Iowa. Original owners bought it new. 
Massey Harris, 44, owned by Dean Vaness from Danville, Iowa, and Dean is the operator. 1935 Farmall F20, owned and operated by David Vaness of Minneapolis, Iowa. Steve Vogler is driving his 1952 John Deere G, owned and operated by Stephen Vogler from Mount Pleasant, Iowa. John Deere G, owned by David Vogler from Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Sadie Vangermeyer is the operator. It's a 1958 John Deere 530 owned by Steve Vogler from Mount Pleasant, Iowa, and Bonnie is the operator. 1941 Formal H owned and operated by David Fuller of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. This is a John Deere 420U owned by Brian and Nikki Howe from New London, Iowa, and Austin Van Ameren is the operator. A little John Deere 40, no card, thank you. This 1951 John Deere Model A is owned by Jeff Van Ameron from Morning Sun, Iowa. Mallory is the operator. 1951 John Deere A owned by Jeff Vandergrogan of Morning Sun, Iowa. Mallory is it. <laughs> this is a 1953 Alice Chalmer WD-45 owned by Gerald Martin from New London, Iowa. 1936 Alice Chalmers WC, owned, by, owned and operated by Claude Rum of Mount Pleasant. It's a Farmall Model B, owned by Luann and Todd Fisher from Winfield, Iowa. Luann's the operator. The 1951 John Deere B, owned and operated by Blake Smith of Sperry, Iowa. Yes. Next little John Deere is a Model M, 1947 John Deere Model M, owned by Byron Smith of Fort Madison, Iowa. The 1954 8N, owned by Bernard Carroll Jr. of Brighton, Iowa, Rose Spala is the operator. When on this side here is a 1959 Farmall. 340, owned by Bernie Carroll Jr. from Brighton, Iowa, and Mike is the operator. 1943 Formal H, owned by Melvin Mulligan of Packwood, Iowa, Stephen Spees is the operator. Stetson Spees is the operator. This little gray one here is a 1954 Ferguson T.O., owned by the Mellican Farms of Packwood, Iowa. He's got a little carrier on the back there, milk can carrier. 1943 John Deere GM. Owned and operated by Jim Lauber of Winfield, Iowa. This case here is a 1954 Case VAC. Owned and operated by Mark Going. Going from Fairfield, Iowa. 1950 John Deere MT. Owned by Edward Ernst of Muscatine, Iowa. Edward and Joseph are the operators. This is a 1946 Ford 2N. Owned and operated by Landon Crafton from Wapolo, Iowa. The 1948 Ford 8N, owned and operated by David Keith Trafton of Wapolo, Iowa. This is a 1952 International Super A, owned by Lynn Douglas from Medina, Missouri. Lynn is the operator. The 1935 McCormick Daring O12, owned and operated by Jack Seaver Jr., Sr. of Wellman, Iowa. We have a 19... 30 something formal F30 owned by Eric Calderwood from Brooklyn, Iowa, and Christian Calderwood is the operator. 1930. Now we're going to go into the lawn and garden tractors. First one is a K646, owned and operated by Austin Buckert from Mount Pleasant, Iowa. It's got a loader and a blade on the back of that one. Go ahead. Tori's driving a K155. It's a 1968 with a case wagon. That's very rare. 
Morgan's driving a Case 180. That was made in 1965. Jeremy's driving a 1965 Case 130. It and the 180 were made the same time. Jared Buckert's driving the 220 with the mower deck. That's a 1973. Lisa Bolton's driving the Case 222. And Dustin Hartwig's driving the John Deere Patio 110. That's an orange, and John Deere did make them of that color. They made four different colors in that vintage. And Lisa's killed one in front of the grandstand. 19, 1966 John Deere 60 lawn tractor, owned by Eric Lowe, Mount Pleasant. Brian Gump here is the operator. Right in front of us here, we have a 1972 Sears Hydro 12, Tyler Untrenauer from Wayland, Iowa. 1972 Sears Hydro 12, owned and operated by Tyler Untrenauer of Wayland, Iowa. Dan is the owner and operator in this 1970 Model 140 John Deere. Dan Barnhart from Worcester, Iowa, and Dan's got a lot of nice tractors. Nineteen seventy-nine IHC Cab Cadet eighty-five, owned and operated by Matthew Tagler of Fairfield. This next wheel horse, the nineteen sixty-seven wheel horse Lawn Ranger seven horsepower, owned by Shari Tagler from Fairfield, Iowa. 1967 Wheel Horse 657, owned and operated by Cherry Tagler or Fairfield. 1965 Cub Cadet 70, owned by Travis Griffith from Urbandale, Iowa. 1970 Bowlands Husky, owned and operated by Bridget Griffin of Urbandale, Iowa. 1978 Moet Mustang, five horsepower, owned by Addison Tagler from Fairfield, Iowa. This Mack tractor is an Oliver lawn tractor, owned by Harold Sammons of Mount Pleasant, Iowa. Ethan Graber is the operator. This next one is a 1960 Science and Mechanics Power Up Pup. Owned by Donald Luke of Cedar Rapids, Iowa, assisted by Andrew. We have no card on uh, the little Mustang. Danny Peterson's coming in in a 1968 Massey Harrison, number 10. Alex Peterson is the owner, but Danny's operating. Nineteen seventy two Oliver one forty five owned and operated by Mark Cleese of Springfield, Illinois. A nineteen seventy two Oliver one oh five owned by Marvin Steinbecker from Riverton, Illinois. Nineteen sixty four Montgomery Wards Garden Squire seven and a quarter owned and operated by Taylor Ward, Bates City, Missouri. We have a nineteen sixty nine Sears twelve horsepower hydro track owned by Robert Kessel of Fairfield, Iowa. Uh, we have no card on the little cup of cadet puller. This 1977 Alice Chalmer Hydro 12, owned by Earl Swaggart from Mount Pleasant, Iowa, and Russell Hertz, the operator. 1970 Cup Cadet Lawn Tractor, owned by Carl and Diane Wickman, Mount Pleasant. Mallory Swigert is the operator. A little different tractor here is a 1968 M&M 114, owned by Jenkins Antiques from Hamilton, Illinois. Clayton Jenkins is the operator. The John Deere 140 owned and operated by Mike Warrior of Keokuk, Iowa. Mark helps out here in the garden tractor area. Gets a lot of tractors, help registered, helps with the, be a mechanic. He's got a 1968 Cub Cadet 60 owned by Mark Meyer of Keokuk, Iowa, and Braden Settles is the operator. 1967 Cub Cadet, 127, owned by Mark Wareother of Keokuk. Zane is the operator.
This next Cub Cadet is kind of a custom made to look like a 1086. It's 1969 Cub Cadet 129. Oh, it's a 12 horsepower owned by Mark Wyrather, Keokuk, Iowa, and Drake Huffman is the operator. I have no card on the little Panzer. This next wheel horse coming up here, it's a 1966. You see a lot of wheel horse tractors. This is a model 1276, owned by Galen Heberlin from Pleasant Hill, Iowa. 1969 Heberlin. wheel horse Raider 12, owned and operated by Dean Fine of Rennells, Iowa. This Cub Cadet is a four-wheel drive custom owned by Philip Newquist of Agency, Iowa. Cub Cadet original owned and operated by Mike Vanderlinden of Knoxville, Iowa. This one of the bigger tractors there, it's a John Deere 430 owned by David Brins from Clinton, Iowa and David and Jack are the operators. 1970 Holder, 4x4 Vineyard Tractor. 